Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. So I finally got my hands on this beauty. So this is an eyeshadow palette from Lime Crime. I think this is their latest palette and I, I we could call it like brand new. It's not, it, I think it's been over say close to two months now. So yeah, um, and this is the Venus Excel palette. Now they already have the Venus palette with which I think is like an eight pan eyeshadow palette it's it is a small palette they this is just an an elaborate like uh, an expanded version of that venus palette now i do not have the venus palette venus one venus two i don't have um both the palettes and i do not have the modern renaissance palette from uh anastasia beverly hills so it like makes perfect sense for me to buy this palette now, uh, the Modern Renaissance palette, I know it's like a cult favorite product. There's like a cult following, but I didn't like the palette. I mean, I loved only three shades in the palette. The rest were like very uh, champagne shades. So I wasn't spending over, like over, it's over for $40, right? Over $40 for just three shades. So I skipped the palette. I don't think I'd be buying the palette at all. And then again the venus palette i don't know i i just didn't buy it despite all the outstanding like people were blown away by the amazing uh quality of the palette i just didn't buy it i don't know why so when i saw this this i had to get it guys just look at how many options of berries and pinks and reds like so and brownish reds and reddish browns you just have so many versions of uh berries then you do have like uh, shimmery shades, like glow. They call it glow shades, um, and I'll, we we we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, but anyways, um, I was very very excited for this, and I did buy it like on a sale. Um, they had like a twenty percent off sale on Lime Crime's website, so I went ahead and bought it. And this retails for fifty six dollars. I think I'm right, but it's definitely over fifty five dollars. Not sure if fifty six or fifty eight but over 55 less than 60 definitely and you get how many shades do you get in here you get 18 shades um so this is eyeshadow palettes that uh carry 18 to 20 shades uh those that companies usually release during the holiday season that's like the mega palettes right so during spring and summer companies usually come out with eyeshadow palettes with 8 to 10 eyeshadows like it's usually like a, me a medium it's not i wouldn't call it mini like a medium size palette is like what companies come out with during the spring and summer but um this is like a huge palette this is like a holiday season kind of a palette it's big and i have to tell you guys it is really heavy and the packaging has got nothing to do with that i think because it's just a cardboard like it, it is thick definitely it doesn't like bend when i'm trying to um i'm trying to move it but it's it doesn't like give it's like really thick but you get 0 0.059 ounce of product you can round it to 0 0.06 ounce of product that is more than full size guys you there's like no contest it is a full size eyeshadow 0 0.06 amount of product ounce of product um, so you get 18 full-size eyeshadows in this uh, palette so it's such a good deal for $56 and so yeah let's get in the swatches and and the palette is uh, certified vegan and cruelty free so the fact that you get so many berry and red toned uh, eyeshadows which are vegan and cruelty free is like really good and the palette is made in USA uh, what else and it didn't come with a box or anything it just came in this plastic uh, box it's like transparent plastic box and yeah the list of ingredients is at the back of the box uh, and there's a lot of like pinks and reds together like Venus has this red hair and then a red hair and then again at the back I don't know how if I like pink and red together I don't know anyways let's and it does come with a mirror and uh, so yeah, let's get in the swatches guys. Let's swatch the top row. The first one is Eden. This one is Eden. I'm, I don't want to hold it because it's kind of blinding, right? So the gold and everything. First one is Eden. 
I think this is that glow finish because uh, this finish is not exactly foiled. Obviously, it's not foiled, but it has this vibrancy to it. I don't know, guys. It's a very unique kind of a finish. I haven't seen a finish like that, to be honest. It's, it's really unique and it's so pigmented with brush without brush it's like equally pigmented of course well, with the finger it's like even more pigmented but with brush you'd be blown away by how beautifully it picks up in the brush and deposits on your eyelids this is the color i have on my eyelids do you see how vibrant that is and yeah that and that is a glow finish i don't know it's like kind of the finish is not um you know metallic or it doesn't have that oily finish but the color is like kind of popping especially on dark skin it's just popping guys that is eden and then next is love i know it kind of looks boring but again that is actually a duochrome this is the color i have as an inner corner highlight here you see that it like again that has this um glow finish i think it has this uh, copper to peach kind of a color. It's really good. And again, the pigmentation is fantastic on that. So good. You cannot complain, guys. And then you have Passion, which is this berry red, reddish berry. This perfect raspberry shade, to be honest. To see how pigmented that is. Again, so pigmented, guys. So, so good passion do you see how it like pops it does not look very muddy or muted even on my skin tone it's like beautiful guys it's passion and then fresca fresca actually is so good this is like a matte mauve shade but it has this gold um it has this gold um shimmers all over and actually when you pack it on your eyelids it looks beautiful and the pigmentation is actually really good and when you blend it in your crease i used once i used this shade as a transition shade and as i was like moving my face from here to here i could see that gold just glistening and it's just like catching the light so beautifully and it looked like a very magical color even in the transition so i if you have this palette i definitely encourage you guys to use this as a transition and the the gold shimmers they don't like fall off or anything or at least it, it didn't fall off for me and it just beautifully catches the light it's beautiful and then next is inspire oh, wait it's this finger inspire is again like a raspberry color i barely touched it guys i I did not like really dig in I just barely touched the eyeshadow and you get so much pigment and it's again like a pinky raspberry this is like a more reddish raspberry the matte and this is more of a pinkish raspberry color again this is that um, I think this is a satin finish I don't think it's this glow finish because it's a little more uh, muted it doesn't really reflect much light and then idolized is I know it like kind of looks very um muted but on my skin tone it looks very very peach to be honest it looks like a really peachy beautiful color i have used this as transition today and uh, yeah I, I still see it maybe you can still see it right here it's a little bit of peach and it looks does not look ashy at all on my skin tone i know here it kind of looks blended but it doesn't look ashy at all on my skin so that is the first row and second one the the center row is Aphrodite it's such a beautiful berry color it's so rich guys it's this ox blood kind of color just look at the pigmentation just look at the pigmentation my god it's so beautiful Again, it works beautifully with a brush, no problems at all. And then this is New Classic and this is the glow finish. This color looks so kind of muted in the pan, but it kind of comes to life when you like apply it on your eyes. It And this, this tiny bit of those um, copper shimmers in here kind of 
lights up to be honest i think it's like really the the way they've described that finish is really good it's accurate it kind of it like kind of comes to life once you apply it on your eyes it's really good it's also very beautifully pigmented then this burnt gold let's watch that it's kind of lighter than this so you could definitely use this as even on my skin tone if you want a very vibrant look you could use this as a transition and then apply this in the crease it would look really beautiful and then we have flora which is like a crazy vibrant see how vibrant that is coral shade very much or like a reddish coral to be honest more than a usually these coral shades that we see kind of pinkish coral and it kind of I don't know, blends away all together at least on my skin tone that's that, that's what I've observed this is like a kind of reddish coral, not pinkish. It's just really, really unique. And it's like hard to come by, to be honest. And just look at the pigmentation. This is, I don't have any primer on my arms, no moisturizer, just bare dry skin, to be honest. So that is Flora. This Calip is definitely a lighter shade. Um, no, I mean, no doubt about that. But as you can see, it doesn't really look too white, right? On my skin tone, very similar to this. It, you get this more pinky kind of shade. If you have my skin tone, you can definitely use it as a transition shade or even in a corner highlight, definitely. And then Celestial is this. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, maybe I shouldn't like show you guys each and every pan as I'm swatching because Celestial again has this gold shimmer throughout this is more berry and this is more red if you can see if there, there's like a good like if, if you have an eye for like uh, telling the difference between colors you can tell definitely right um, this is definitely berry and this is more red uh, so um, let me quickly show it to you Aphrodite is definitely more red and celestial is more berry and uh, in the crease, uh, Celestial looks more deeper than Af Aphrodite, obviously. This looks more deeper. Obviously, this is like a darker color. So this definitely looks deeper. And then we have Ethereal. Maybe let's switch arms. Let's do the last row, final row on this side. Ethereal, again, is like um, glow up, glow, glow finish, not glow up, glow finish. It looks, um, it looks very like a coral pink, baby pink color. And then we have a shade called Triumph, which is a beautiful berry shade. It's pigmentation. Do you see how even that pigmentation is? And it's not like a very creamy, buttery formula. The consistency is actually quite thin, the mattes. And also, it, it there's a little bit of friction when you touch the pans, especially with mattes. But it doesn't like form any kind of hot pan or anything like that. It's really good. And then we have Supreme. Where was I? This is Supreme, right? Yeah, this is Supreme. Supreme is more of like a mauve berry kind of a shade. Not too vibrant, honestly, on my skin tone. Uh, so yeah so that's supreme and then black can blank canvas sorry blank canvas obviously um, I don't think I'd be able to use this at all except for inner corner highlights that's just a cream um, cream shade which is matte finish and then we are down to the last two shades guys this is my favorite shade of the entire palette. Just look how rich that is. God. So beautiful. And finally. So yeah, those are the shades, guys, from the palette. Do you see how it like as you share it out?
kind of has this beautiful like berry tones but it doesn't like go away do you see this is just on bare skin with no primer or no moisturizer so if you blend it out do you see it doesn't go away it just stays put so anyways my thoughts and perform let, let's talk about the color selection i i feel lime crime has made it kind of easy for consumers to whether buy this palette or not if you love berry tones and if you already have a lot of berry tones but you still can't get enough of them um i'd say this would be a perfect palette because the quality is fantastic guys um and if you're someone who already has a lot of berry tones not interested it this would be a an easy pass honestly a very easy pass to uh to pass this palette so that way i really commend uh lime crime that they made like a palette like centering a theme you know it's like it, it makes e consumers to the decision making process is so easy it's either yes or no kind of palette um now uh quality is top notch guys as i said the mattes the consistency is kind of thin but the pigmentation goes it doesn't go anywhere do you see it just it just stays put like literally the darker colors it just stays put it doesn't go anywhere and this is on like uh no primer not moisturized skin so you can imagine when you apply this over primer the pigmentation and everything i'm really bl honestly i'm blown away by the quality guys this is like such superior quality very very i would compare these to sugar pills eyeshadow sugar pills quality it's really good and um as for metallics as i said they perform equally good uh, I've had this eyeshadow look for six, seven hours. Yeah. And do you see any, there's like no fading at all. I don't see any kind of fading. It's like, it stays put and I see zero creasing. There's no creasing at all. So uh, my only concern when I bought this palette was that I didn't want these colors to end up looking the same on the eyes, meaning when i mix this color and this color do you see it's like this kind of muted plum reddish plum color and this is this rich uh burgundy shade i didn't want both to look exactly the same although they look kind of different very very happy to share with you guys that that is not the case this looks exactly like this on the eyes and this looks exactly like this so you if you use this as a transition shade and this in the crease it will look as if you have this beautiful like um what's the word you have this um like an array of berry tones from deep to this light faded kind of a look and they don't look muddy together if you mix all of these colors they don't look muddy together in fact it gives a depth and definition further and it looks as if like you have an array of beautiful like a deep berry to a lighter berry but you have to bear in mind that these with these colors you're going to get very very similar crease looks you're going to get something very similar to this a darker or like more muted or faded you're going to get very similar i mean this is not going to look like a green or a blue obviously so as i said lime crime has made it like very easy for consumers to either pick this palette on just skip it right so if you love colors like this definitely i say pick it up because the quality is top notch but if you feel that this is like excessive uh you can definitely always pick up the venus palette the original venus palette which is like a smaller it's like a smaller palette so yeah that is my review guys i'm extremely happy with this palette i'm so happy that i got it uh i recommend if you guys love these tones definitely get it um uh, i think this is like one of the best palettes berry tone palettes out there honestly it's like fantastic so and i think it's very very dark skin friendly you can tell how it looks right look i mean the pigmentation is so so good and they look true to pan on the on my skin tone what you get in the pan is how it looks on the eyes it's really good and it's like so easy to work with with brush fingers you can do whatever you want very very flexible formula you guys 
um that's it you guys we've come to the end of this video hope you guys found this video useful uh please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe and i will see you guys very soon Bye bye